Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for November 25th, 2022. These are the standard releases for the week. This week is Record Store Day. I showed you guys all of those Record Store Day titles on a separate video. This stuff is the normal releases, the standard releases that come out for the week. There's actually a decent amount of stuff to show you guys this week. In the past, it's always been kind of slim pickings, but there's a lot of solid titles that have actually come out this week. A couple of them are from the tail end of last week that I didn't have on the video, but I'll show you what is coming. A few side notes. We stream the entire Record Store Day live on the YouTube channel. So from the minute we open till the minute we close. Eight o'clock Arizona time we open, we close at seven o'clock Arizona time. We're gonna stream the entire thing live. You'll be able to watch it as a live, live stream. Also, everything that doesn't sell in the store on Record Store Day will be on the website the following day at six o'clock Arizona, uh, excuse me, six o'clock Eastern time. So six o'clock Eastern time, and we've got a ton of stuff, will be on the website. Uh, we're doing a sale. All day Thursday, which is, what, the 24th, and all day Black Friday, which is the 25th, on the website only. This doesn't include the store. The store has a different sale going on. But this sale is for everybody around. We're doing 10% off of all in-stock records. Everything. New arrivals this week. Everything that's in stock on the website. Pre-orders are the only thing that don't apply kind of in celebration of my favorite holiday, which is Thanksgiving. My favorite holiday because I can stay home, I don't have to go anywhere, I can eat, watch football, and then I like to go to the movies at night. <laughs> so it's become by far and away my favorite holiday. Don't have to go shopping for the kids, no gifts, just hanging out, having a good time, eating, football, by far and away the best holiday. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's by far and away the best holiday. So yeah, all day Thursday, all day Friday, 10% off all in stock vinyl. Okay, Post Malone's got a new pre-order out. His newest album, 12 Karat, comes out February 10th. I've got the Indie Store exclusive, which I think is yellow vinyl, on the website right now for pre-order. I'm hoping the rest of his stuff gets reprinted. It's been like a year since I've had a Post Malone title in the store. People ask for them all the time. Post Malone must not like selling records because it's been a long time since we've had any in the store. All right, let me show you guys this week's new arrival. Ringo's EP3. It seems like the last couple of Ringo releases, I want to say, have been EPs. Uh, features four brand new tracks on 10-inch vinyl. What's the name of this? Just called EP3. Peace and love, peace and love. Okay, put that off to the side. This, is, this title has been the absolute bane of my existence for the last two months. They keep pushing this record back a week and then back a week. So you call in, when's this coming out, Mike? It's supposed to be out by now. Oh, it's coming out next week. Next week, pushed back again, pushed back. Finally, it's here. Rashawn Roland Kirk's Blackness. This is a fantastic album. This is actually done. I think this is a Sunday's title, but this is all analog cut by Kevin Gray from the original Analog Master Tape. For 25 bucks, we've got audiophile reissues from Sundays. Fantastic. It's kind of new for Sundays, but they're really, there's another Roland Kirk title and there's some stuff that they've done recently. They're seeming to really put out some solid audiophile titles for reasonable money. Generic covers, but that's going to be a pickup for sure. I think this was supposed to come out originally the beginning of 20, uh, 2021. So, end of 2022. Close, right? But yeah, Bill Evans at Town Hall. This is part of the Verve series, all analog, kind of the Verve counterparts to the Tone Poet. Most of these are cut by Ryan K. Smith from the original Analog Master Tape. Thick Stoughton type jacket. I don't know if they're using Stoughton anymore, but really that same real thick, heavy Blue Note Tone Poet cardboard. But yeah, Bill Evans at Town Hall. Maybe last year was supposed to come out. I don't know the exact date, but it's been a while, but they're getting caught up. Okay, Prodigy, Fat of the Land. This is the 25th anniversary limited edition silver vinyl variant. 25th anniversary edition. This has been a long time since I've had this in. 
maybe since I, re you know, maybe since three years, I think since Fat of the Land's been in print. I think this is one of the bigger titles that's releasing this week. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers live at the Fillmore. This is the legendary 1997 residency. Uh, this is the three LP set, over two hours of music. So three LP set, and there's also a box set. So we've got the three LP set there. And then here, this is the Super Deluxe Limited Edition. This is six LPs over four hours of music. So it comes in the box set. So, hmm. Okay, I'm just doing some math in my head. Three LPs, and it's a third the price of the six LPs. Okay, so if you want those extra three LPs, Tom Petty's making you pay for it, or the estate is. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I'm gonna take this home, listen to it. I'm not, uh, I'm not commenting on it, but from what I hear in the VC, this is a really killer sounding record. This is Gil Scott Heron's Pieces of a Man, cut in an all analog chain by Frank Merritt on 180 gram vinyl. This is cut at 45 RPM. So we've got an all analog 45 RPM audio file cut of Pieces of a Man. From what I've heard, people have emailed me, this thing sounds fantastic. Not an easy record to get. Not an easy record to get clean. When you find them, they were party records. They're beat up. I don't think I showed these last week. I think they came maybe at the tail end of the week. But Andrew Hill's Point of Departure, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray from the original Analog Master Tape. These are Blue Note Classic titles. And Gretchen Moncur, the third. Okay, uh, Evolution. Maybe I did show these. I'm having a... I'm thinking I showed these... They went out of stock right away because I didn't have the full shipment in. And I think I got the remaining sh remainder of the shipment. Might be the same with these next couple. This is the repress of Nirvana's In Utero. This is the 33 RPM version. There's been some 45 RPMs of this in stock in the past. This is the repress. Uh, Universal said it's kind of a new, pre a new, ver you know, new pr pressing. I think it's just a repress of an old one. But I don't know. I'd have to look in the dead wax. Elvin Jones, Revival, live at Pookie's Club. This was kind of a debacle. This was out last week. Most of them got absolutely smashed by UPS, but I got a restock of them in. Small. I still got more on the way, though. I didn't get a chance to listen to this yet because, unfortunately, most of them were damaged. I wanted to give customers a shot at it. This I'm thrilled about. I know. I absolutely love Whitney Houston. Love Whitney Houston. This... I think is Whitney Houston's absolute best album. Now don't tell anybody, but like if I'm home and I'm by myself, I'll crank this on, I'll put this up, and I'll sing along, very high decibels. It's a good time for me. I dig it. But yeah, the Bodyguard soundtrack, the original, maybe it was a Brazilian, I got an original, I think it's Brazilian, maybe there was a European version of it that came out back in the 90s. I'm looking forward to this. I wonder how it sounds. Uh, I don't think the original vinyl sounds that good, so I'm hoping this is significantly better, and it probably is. I don't think it was ever pressed in the U.S. I think it only got, like, European, South American reissues, or issues when it was new. Restock of uh, Greta Van Fleet's From the Fires. That's a pretty popular title, so I figured we'd show it to you as a restock. don't think I showed this either, because this came in after, I think it came last Friday, after the video was filmed. The Jimi Hendrix Experience, the Los Angeles Forum, April 26, 1969. Uh, not my favorite Jimi Hendrix cover. I think even the photo on the front with him smile, or back, is a little bit better. But uh, yeah, 2LP set, never before released on vinyl. Press that QRP. The Electric Hellfire Club, Burn Baby Burn on orange vinyl. Feels like it's a two LP set. Mac Dre. We've got Ronald Dragon for president, 2004. Limited to a thousand 
on colored vinyl. It's kind of funny. So it's uh, Ronald Reagan for president. And then it says, make America happy again. When did this come out? 2004. He's the people's choice, according to uh, himself. Funny cover. Probably not something that I listen to. Okay. Sepulchre. The classic album on black vinyl. Half speed mastered on 180 gram vinyl. Alex. What's the name of the album? Alex? Yeah, I guess it is. There you go. Double LP. From the Foundations. Let's see what they know. So typically Culture Factory does like a one and done. Yeah, see it says one pressing worldwide. Uh, this is not a numbered or limited pressing. Normally it's like limited to 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. This one just says one pressing worldwide. It's kind of on an orange vinyl. Features the original version of the smash hit. Baby, now that I've found you. Good tune, actually. Some more Mac Dre. This is the best of. Hmm. Never even heard of him. Apparently he's got a greatest hits album. And uh, Ronald Reagan for president is not even one of the albums photographed there. So, I don't know. Okay. We've got Enrico Pernazzuni, Something Tomorrow, on Storyville. Mark Ursula's Steppendoom. Some bizarre stuff uh, coming out this week, I'm not going to lie. A little bit, uh, a little bit out on the outside of the norm. Razor, fast and loud. Shape picture disc. So it's uh, yeah, there's a picture disc in there. You can see it's uh, kind of like you would get in the '80s. That was getting uh, pretty common in the '80s. Don't see it too much anymore. Every now and then for record store, I. Ooh, the God of Hellfire himself. Arthur Brown, Monster's Ball on marbled vinyl. I don't know how this is, but I definitely like Arthur Brown's early stuff. Royk Shop, Profound Mysteries. Uh, looks like an alternate cover of Profound Mysteries. Oh no, Profound Mysteries number three. And this is Profound Mysteries, just Profound Mysteries. Okay, where's number two? Maybe that's in here still. The Transplants. Limited edition anniversary colored vinyl. The Big Express, XTC, this is newly cut from the Masters, approved by Andy Partridge. Super heavyweight, 200 gram, in a gatefold sleeve. Ministry, Moral Hygiene, limited to 1,000 copies on vinyl, violet vinyl, excuse me, violet vinyl. Okay, we've got the brains. Satana Tarantula on splattered wax. A duotone Christmas. This actually is probably pretty good. Amos Lee's on this as well. Arnie Lennox, Age, Sex, and Location. They're starting to put out a lot of the Rolling Stones back catalog again. It was in print years ago, and it kind of just 
went out of print and they're kind of reactivating these SKUs. I think most of these were on clear vinyl back in the day. They're putting them on black vinyl now. But uh, between the buttons, black vinyl, we've got Aftermath on black vinyl. These are probably quite good. The originals of these were done from DSD and uh, sounded pretty awesome. I'm guessing these are the same. Supergrass, I Should Coco, their classic 1995 number one debut album. The Iron Giant, original soundtrack. I feel like I showed this. Some of these things might have been left in the bin. I apologize if that's the case. Maybe the same thing with this. Uh, so Chaos Creatures of the Night, this is the Half Speed Master reissue of this. Real nice jacket, I feel like I didn't show this. Uh, real thick cover, like almost a tip-on jacket. Not quite that thick, but pretty solid cover. Unfortunately, they put Half Speed Remastered on the front of the jacket. I don't know the hell they did that for him, but could have kept it on the half sticker, but you know, all right. Kylie Minogue. All right, what did Kylie Meninge put out here? Christmas album. Uh, Christmas, yeah. No locomotion on this, guys, I'm sorry. The Wheel of Time soundtrack. Two LP set on sunburst splattered vinyl. This next one, I'm excited about. Not this, this could be good, I don't know. I don't know about that. But the Cars Greatest Hits. Greatest Hits albums are fantastic for the holidays. People getting into vinyl, they want to buy Greatest Hits albums so they can get as much music as quickly as possible, as cheaply as possible. This is done by Friday Music. All right, what do we got here? The Ultimate Christmas Collection. Limited edition colored vinyl pressing. More modern stuff. Mariah Carey, baby, not the hit. Gloria Stefan, Dolly Parton, Andy Williams. That's odd, Andy Williams. And then Air Supply, Megan Trainor. This is all over the place. Kevin James, Jose Feliciano. It's classic. The Ronettes, Wham. A little bit of everything for everybody. Now that's what I call Christmas. Wow, this is a triple? Yeah, this is a triple disc. Here's a lot of Christmas tunes for a reasonable price. Also has Mariah Carey's Christmas, but that's not the Mariah tune everybody wants. Interesting. They don't give that up for free. You gotta buy that as a standalone album, I guess. This is good, Elvis, Kelly Clarkson, Jackson 5, Shaken Stevens, Elton, Paul McCartney. That's a great tune. Wonderful Christmas Time, I think, is one of the greatest Christmas songs of all time. I don't know if that gets enough credit, but that's a good Paul tune. Frank Sinatra, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Andy Williams, Darlene Love. This is actually a pretty solid comp if you want to throw some tunes on for the holidays. Now's the time. This is pretty much the last hoorah be able to get, you know, being able to get solid, good Christmas albums before they're sold out everywhere. The Ride, going back, going blank again. And we've got <laughs> the Brian James Town Massacre. Take it from the man. Electronically rechannel for stereo. I doubt it. I don't even know why they put that on there. Might freak some people out and be like, no, 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 I don't want that. It's going to sound like crap. But yeah, there, there it is. This is the new arrival video for the week of Thanksgiving. All right, guys, big week coming up. A lot of, a lot of YouTubing, a lot of selling. Check out the sale again, 10% off of all in-stock vinyl today, Thursday, excuse me, the 24th, the 25th. Uh, so, yeah, online only. TheInGroove.com, until next time.